ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वेलकम गुड टू हैव ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन दिस कॉल एज वी सेड टुडे वी विल हैव प्रेजेंटेशन दोज वुड लाइक टू प्रेजेंट एज पार्ट ऑफ द असाइनमेंट कैन डू सो सो वील प्रे एंड वील गेट स्टार्टेड Uh, and then you know we can also schedule uh, people for today's presentations so um, i just want to request one of us to lead in with a word of prayer please anyone okay uh, let me let me just pray then heavenly father we thank and thank and praise you for this time that you've given us in your presence father we thank you for this entire course we thank you for your grace upon every single one of us lord to uh, share and um, learn from uh, lord what what you have uh, put before us father we pray that your word will work deep in our hearts lord that we will be transformed lord that we will be thoroughly equipped lord for every good work that you have called each one of us to father god we pray that uh, lord your hand of healing and uh, lord uh, power deliverance will be upon those who may be in a uh, need right now father god we we also pray lord that this entire time of discussion and presentations will be a great blessing father lord so we commit uh, this time into your hands and we pray we invite you lord to be in our midst in jesus name amen all right so i uh, just want to begin by asking us uh, uh, who among in the presenting If some of you are here uh, to listen to the presentation, that's okay, no problem. I understand. So no pressure. Um, those who would like to present can present. Okay, Mangi, Mangi would like to present. I saw Charles had mentioned on the uh, stream that he would like to present. Blessing will present. Who else? Anyone else? Okay, so uh, Charles hasn't connected yet to the call, mm, so we could keep the order as yeah. So far, these are the three people who would like to present. So, which is all right. Um, and uh, the questions, I'll quickly. Mm, Uh, read out the questions that we have uh, out of which uh, the people will present so the first question is uh, what are the principles or key learning that you would like to follow as a kingdom builder we discussed so much throughout the entire course so any 10 points from there are required uh, so uh, this would uh, fetch a student 30 marks um, then there is the question on mentoring and fathering to share one's learning what they have learned that would uh, fetch them 10 marks then there is the third question which is partnering in the kingdom uh so this again to share one's learning that would fetch them 10 marks and then the fourth question here is how can a city wide church be strengthened now this again is for 10 marks students can present any one for any one of the questions you can present and accordingly you will be marked the remaining you would need to write it in uh, you know and send uh, send it like your regular assignment so that's the way we are going about it again uh, anyone else uh, you would like to present today so right now we have blessing mangi uh, and charles and uh, charles if he joins he hasn't yet joined uh, anyone else okay so uh, let's get started and uh, we'll see if you know people would uh, uh, want to present uh, okay blessing uh, uh, would you like to begin you could introduce the question 
which question are you going to present uh, about and also i think uh, the uh, rights to share your screen if you have a presentation or you know anything that you want the students to see if you would like to you can use the share a uh, screen share window option and you can you know uh, present as well so uh, i hand it over to you blessing if you can uh, give a short introduction about yourself even that will help uh, you know about a little bit about you so we know uh, who you are where you're from and then what subject are you presenting on so i i just uh, uh, hand this time over to blessing Thank you very much i'm sorry i can't present again because my battery is very low so i'll just write it on i'll write do, do the written assignment and there is oh, no okay. Yeah. Okay, so you would not like to do the presentation? Is, is that yeah. uh, what you're saying? Yes, yes. I would do all written. You would like, you would prefer all written. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, there's no issue with that. Noted. Uh, no problem. So I think, uh, Mangi, you, you would be the only person uh, to present today. Uh, yeah, please go ahead. Thank you, Pastor. Um, I think uh, Brother Abhishek also is present because he's also ready. Oh, okay. Wonderful, wonderful. So uh, Abhishek could go after Mangi. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you. For, thank you so much for giving me, giving me this opportunity to share. Um, what I'll share on, I'll share on the. Uh, the principles or what are learned from from these lessons. Because okay, Mangi. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Uh, you could also switch on your video if you're comfortable. Uh, so yeah, just <laughs> letting everyone know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead, please. I'm I'm on on a cell phone because my my laptop broke. So I'm I'm on a cell phone and I don't know how it it will look. Uh, So I will present on three uh, principles, and yeah, I hope what what I'll share will make sense uh, based on the on uh, on what I learned, because there's so much, so many things and so many topics that we learned, and it is near impossible just to 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 share all of it in five minutes or three minutes. So the first principle that's uh, picked up from from this course would be that Jesus is the king and everything else evolves and revolves around him. Uh, as the kingdom builders, as citizens of the kingdom, uh, everything we do and everything we do starts from 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 the king. He gives us command. He he sends us wherever we go. So what he needs from us is to be ready and to be have a servant hearted so that whenever he calls us, we, we are ready to go. And the second principle is that second principle learned from this course is that God uses everyone who is ready. It doesn't matter if it is a man, a woman, or even a child, even a donkey. Wherever he needs someone and someone is ready, he will use that person. Because for for the past centuries, uh, theologians and church leader, uh, leaders of the churches they had this idea that only men get used, and no woman or female can take any higher position or being a, become a teacher in, in the world or teacher of of the world. But uh, it was misconception. Uh, they didn't really understand what. The right I was talking about, and the, that that's missing the the heart of God, the heart of the Scripture. So God uses everyone who is ready, and anyone who prunes himself, who sets himself apart from from the world, God will use that person for His glory. Um, and this can only be done by uh, one's building his character. Um, secondly. Uh, Developing spiritual maturity by prayer, reading of word, 
and also by working with God, by intimacy with the Father, with the Holy Spirit. And thirdly is the person has to develop the ability to teach others or to mentor others or be able to lead. Like Paul told Timothy that someone who is a leader must be able to teach others. So if the, the, anyone that God is going to use must also build character, uh, develop spiritual maturity and have the ability to teach or learn ability to teach. Last one is that uh, the kingdom builders are called to work in a team. Like they're, they're co-workers. So no one works alone. As a kingdom builders and the, as a kingdom citizens, we are called to work as one one team. Like, like Paul said, uh, we we are a body of Christ, so there is a hand, there is a head, there is there is leg. So one to carry the gospel, one to water the gospel, one to plant, and one to to, to reap the benefit of it. So in the kingdom of God, we or God, we are called to work together, and everyone is a co-worker. So if we want to see the kingdom of God, God advance, we we have to partner together and work together. So, and this this will will affect how much because we work together will have impact on, on what to, in what to do. So we can impact cities, we can change lives, we can do ama amazing things if we come together. We pray together, we do other things together as kingdom builders. Okay, thank you so much, Pastor Lad. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you, Mangi. Mangi, uh, so three points, right? Three points. Uh, one is uh, that uh, the king, that God is the king. The second one is God can use everyone. And the third one again? Uh, we, we are co-workers and no one yeah. works alone. Okay, we are co-workers. So you, you've answered the first question, but with three points. Yes, Pastor. Okay, sure, sure. So you could, um, you know, write in. Uh, the rest of the assignment and and submit it in the regular form all right so thank you thank you mangi yeah sure thank you i really appreciate that uh, uh all right so let's go ahead with abhishek's presentation abhishek uh, even you would like to present i think i will uh, speak oh yeah sure I... sure you can speak yeah, introduce the question. Maybe you can share a little bit about yourself, introduce the question, and then go ahead and speak. Okay, uh, I'm, a, I'm my name is Avishek. I'm from Kolkata, West Bengal. And thank you, Pastor Nancy, for giving me this opportunity to share uh, this uh, presentation of uh, part. I will share the partnering in the kingdom. Uh, so, partnering. Is it uh, partnering is an important part of uh, God's plan for establishing kingdom because uh, the scripture is clear about that that a kingdom of God is where God rings and the church of God is an instrument for his uh, kingdom to the end of the earth and and partnership is coming to a relation to achieve a greater impact than could ever be accomplished by an individual so a whole lot more can be accomplished through around the world and the advancement of the kingdom through partnership for uh, for us to successfully fulfill our god-given dream we will most often need to partner and work with several others in the kingdom of god our willingness to partner our unwillingness to partner become a hindrance to kingdom advancement. So I will, I will share five points here regarding partnership uh, in the kingdom. So uh, we need to maintain an unity uh, in this spirit regarding in uh, because the true kingdom building uh, worker always result in standing in unity of the spirit and fellowship of the spirit. And just because someone is not part of our group, it doesn't mean that they are not doing kingdom work. And the second point I need to share, the being kingdom minded. 
so if uh, we will all have to have the same mindset if you are not to walk if you are to walk together if we have a kingdom mind it will be easy to flow together to advance the kingdom uh, to flow in the spirit uh, uh, it will help us or uh, if we don't have the kingdom mind it will limit us in our work with uh, the kingdom advancement so the bible also says that in amos uh, chapter 3 verse 3 also says that if can two walk together unless they are agreed if you are not agreed with others uh upon uh the core essential of faith that is one who is christ on who is christ is his finished work on the cross his death and resurrection his soon return and the great commission that he left with us so we can all have this one mind that whatever we do we seek the advancements of the christ kingdom and the third point we need to uh, we must learn to connect with each other partnership is complementing each other not competing with each other we have been designed to complement each other according to first corinthian 3 5 to 8 says uh, here paul that uh, that who then is paul who is apollos our minister through whom you believe as the lord gave to each one i planted apollos water but god gave the increase so then neither he who planted is anything nor he who water but god who gives the increase now he who plant he who water are one each one will receive his own reward according to his labor so this is the way god work god often uses one man to sow another man to water yet another man to reap it is the lord who send people to enter into our labor because if you are not kingdom minded then the lord uh, send people to enter when the lord send people into our labor to either water or help reap the harvest we chase them away so we need to have a kingdom mindset uh, we need to uh, receive whom the lord send to us and uh, the fourth point is we not to judge others because everybody has a different gift and uh, god uses everybody differently so we need to uh, never judge other minister or before the time because the bible says in first corinthian 4:5 therefore judge nothing before the time until the lord comes who will both bring to light the hidden things of darkness and reveal the counsel of the heart so uh, so we need to avoid this uh, comparing and judging other ministers and the fifth one is uh, the value of partnership in the kingdom is uh, we need to walk in unity uh, in not just a theological concept we teach and preach but in a reality we need to walk in together as a for the kingdom in practical because it will bring the anointing and the blessings of god according to uh, sam 133 uh, verse 1 to 3 and last i want to say that uh, that uh, we need to demonstrate the power of god message to change life producing open trusting relationship according to philippian 2 1 to 11 and we also need to demonstrate good stewardship by working together to maximize the use of resource that god has given us and the body of christ uh, that is the body of christ become more powerful unified community represent real life commitment growth and witness through our uh, partnership with others as god's people walking together in partnership for his kingdom and demonstrate a core and we demonstrate a core spiritual truth the work of jesus will restore relationship both with god and with each other and walking in partnership infuses ministries with authenticity both in work and action and move us closer to the fulfillment of the great command the great commission and the uh, the prayer the intercessory prayer of the lord jesus in john 17 20 to 23 thank you yeah thank you thank you abhishek so 
Abhishek shared five points um, uh, in uh, with regard to partnering in the kingdom. Slightly overshot time, Abhishek, but that's okay. Uh, he he covered uh, you know uh, five very very key and important points. So thank you again for presenting. Um, uh, I noticed that Charles uh, has he got disconnected from the call. He was supposed to present. Uh, so is there anyone else who would like to present? OK, Charles is back. Uh, so please do let me know. I think I'll ask Charles to present now because uh, he's back. Or is he? Uh, Charles, are you on this call? Yes, I am on the call, but I'm having challenges with internet. Uh, I don't know whether you will sustain the call. So. Is it possible to, to give me uh, another day because my internet is really challenging me? I had wanted to present today. Mm -hmm. uh, I would suggest, I mean, see, because it, it is not possible for us to come together like this. Everyone is uh, quite, um, you know, tight on time. You have assignments going on in all courses. So this will be the last call, uh, Charles. Uh, please see, I mean, if you can do even a couple of minutes, it should be OK today. Let me, let me, let me try. Yeah, yeah. Let me try, let me try. But pray with me that the internet will, will be stable. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Because so uh, even, do you want to get? get yes. So do you want to get started now? You could introduce your question and then you could uh, start sharing the points that you want to present. Yes, um, I'm trying to, to, to get the document right now so that I can introduce my question. Okay. And then, um, yes, yes, I'm almost there. I'm sorry, but... The internet yeah, so, is not my friend here. Uh, okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Yes. Um, the the question that I am answering uh, is yeah, please go number ahead. two: mentoring and fathering. My takeaways in mentoring and fathering: one, I found out that uh, authority is spiritual and it flows from the parents to the children in a way that uh, whether you like it or not, you, if you are a parent, whether you are a physical or biological parent or a spiritual parent, information or the, the, the authority will flow, uh, it, which is very, very important that as I serve, as I minister, I need to know that the, the flow is there. Then also that fathers are instructed to lead the children without hurting them in a way that even when you are uh, looking after the spiritual children, uh, like you are a leader and I am leading people, like now in the Child Evangelism Fellowship, I am supposed to, to instruct them and lead them without hurting them, but instead wishing them very well because uh, if I do not do that, again, the spirit of bitterness, the spirit of not wanting them to, to progress will also be flowing to them. Then number three, that God wants to see the flow of authority flow in the family, but also um, that that authority uh, that is supposed to flow in the family, because like here in Africa, uh, they will be saying, who is that child? Is Who is their dad? So they you know that uh, if you are doing well in authority as a dad, also the children are going to do well in authority. So I also learned that and I'm praying to the Lord that I will also do that and ask the Lord to help me have the flow of authority in my family, but also uh, as child evangelism fellowship as a family. Uh, number four was God's ship. Believers in a local congregation that are given instructions to obey those who rule over them and be submissive, for they watch out for their souls as those who must give account. 
So um, I, I'm also looking at this. I have my national director and other leaders at the national office, and I, I, I am asking the Lord that I will obey them. I will also obey my church leaders, but also obey my leaders in the area that I'm working, but also obeying my dad. Yes, he did not study, uh, but I obey him as my father. Number five, that when the authority structure in a local church is in place and functioning according to God's design and intended order, God's kingdom government increases and flourishes among such people. So I also learned that um, the people who uh, I am leading and those that we are working together are, are looking at the structure the structure of authority, the structure of having things functioning according to the design of God, things work out well. And I have seen it. Uh, we, we recently had prepared a, an organ, uh, a fundraising function, and it was both online and also physical. And it did well because we followed the structures and we were respondents to our leaders, and things worked out well and it was according to God's design. And number six, as always, God places people in such roles for them to discharge a responsibility toward the rest of the body. So I also saw that God has placed me in this role so that I can discharge a responsibility to help the youths that I am training to do more ministry to children, but also to help um, Sunday school teachers to do also their parts but also to teach boys and girls the complete message of the cross. Seven, that many of us are in positions of authority in workplace where we have subordinates reporting to us. So we must understand that we are an expression of God's kingdom government in the workplace and must do all things representing God, doing things with kindness, justice, and without threatening or partiality. Exactly, I am looking at this and I am, I, I work with youths, I work with ladies and men, and I really see that I am supposed to be positive. I always ask God that I will be kind, I will be just, but also to see that I am not doing things according to tribes. Because here, tribes work a lot. So there is that uh, a sinister thing that affects ministry. So, but I ask the Lord that I would remain uh, impartial. And then number eight, God's kingdom government is expressed in our world through the civil government that is in place. So I also respect my government i pray for the president and the prime minister and other people so i respect the government nine that a nation always receives the government it deserves if a nation is filled with people who are corrupt who have no regard for moral values then they will have leaders who do the same because after all the leaders grew up from among them so again here the situation is not good um, corruption is at its peak, nepotism and a lot of things that are really bad vices, but we are asking the Lord for a revival, we are asking the Lord for a great move that our Christian virtues can also be propagated finally. That for those of us in positions of authority in these authority structures, we must understand that we have a responsibility toward God and toward those under our authority to judge righteously and do what is right. So I'm also uh, looking at my family. I'm supposed to use my authority and also make sure that I am responsible toward God for my family and then the ministry and then the church. Thank you so much. That's what was my take under point number two. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Charles. So Charles has presented 10 points under the uh, question, mentoring and fathering. And also, Charles, uh, you know, you finished well within time. So uh, that that was, you know, six minutes on dot. So thank you so much. Uh, and I appreciate you. Um, 
assimilating the information and applying it you know in a very personal way in the context that you are so that's the whole point you know we we really want each one to use it uh, in their daily work and ministry so uh, yeah that that is uh, encouraging um, so uh, you know grateful for that presentation uh, all right uh, anyone else because i think the people who uh, confirm they would be presenting um, we've had all of them present uh, is there any other person who wants to present if so you could yeah okay subhajit yes uh, subhajit you you can present now Thank just you, share Yeah, hello, just... yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, hello, my name is Subhajit Malakar. I'm from Kolkata and West Bengal, India, and I'll be sharing about uh, partnering in the kingdom. So we, as we know that we're all, des all designed for partnership, God has worked uh, like a partner. We know God is a triune God and he has worked like a, uh, like a partner in, in the entire creation, even creating us also. So, uh, so we know that God, uh, in the New Testament, we are the body of Christ and the body of Christ has been designed for people to work together in partnership. So uh, while learning about uh, all these facts, I, I just want to start with the verse. It's Ephesians 4.16. Uh, I'd like to read it for us. Yeah, Ephesians uh, 4.16 says like this. Uh, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the effective working by which every part does its share, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. So we we have seen if we don't partner with each other, if the body if the body parts don't work with each other, a church cannot grow or a body cannot grow. Similarly, we need it's very important for us to work as a partner. So my uh, main uh, key points that I've learned uh, about this partnership uh, principles of the kingdom. The first point I'd like to share is uh, partnering is complementing, but not uh, competition. Well, we are uh, partnering. It means like uh, we're all, we, we are different people. We're gifted in a different way. So God ha God knows his moves, what he's going to perform uh, in the coming time. So he prepares us in such a way. He equips us in such a way. He strengthens us in a such a way. He raises his fivefold ministry for a certain period of time in such a in. In, in in according to his plan for the next move for his next move so so here we just need to complement each other understand each other uh, but we must not uh, be in a competition of showing off ourselves our anointings our gifts so that's my first point uh, and we can read uh, one verse uh, for it we can read john chapter 4 john chapter 4 and verse 36 and 37 it goes like this And he who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life, that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. For in this the saying is true: one sows and another reaps. Yeah. So my my second point, uh, my second takeaway or second key point is this: uh, we must not judge others. See, uh, many times we've seen uh, in in kingdom partnership or. In in churches, like we we very easily judge other people based on what they are doing and what they are not. But in the in the work of God's kingdom, it is God who determines whom He raises and whom He anoints and and how He want to extend His work. So in the kingdom of God, uh, we uh, we have seen a, a parable also in the Bible, like some people came in the later stage to do work and God paid them equally. So he's a gracious God. So we must not judge anyone according to what he has done for the kingdom, but we must know we are uh, in his kingdom and we're all his servants. So if you look at a verse in Romans chapter 14, verse 4, it says, who are you to judge another servant? To his own master, he stands or falls. Indeed, He'll be made to stand, for God is able to make him stand. So we must remember that God is the ultimate judge, and we are His servants. My co-worker is also His servant. It's it it's it's up to God to judge. We must only be complimenting and loving each other. The third point uh, I'd like to comment on this is this: avoid comparing yourself with other ministers. Very very uh, easily we fall into this trap of comparing ourselves with other with other ministers. We see others performing in one way and the next day we go to our prayer closet and we pray, Lord, I want to do the same. So we, we very easily deviate from uh, our own calling and want to copy others' ministries. Yeah, And very easily we fall into this emotional trap of doing and helping with others' uh, viewpoint or other standpoint. Uh, 
I would like to read a verse for this. It's First Corinthians chapter twelve and verse five. Uh, it says there are differences in, of ministries, but the same Lord. There are di diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. So we have been, we have, we can see easily we are gifted different way, but for the same purpose. We work for the big picture. Yeah, and uh, the fourth point I'd like to comment on is partnership brings strength. This is actually uh, talking about the value of partnership. So uh, we know there is an old saying like a kingdom that is divided, it cannot stand. So we must become a kingdom which stands. Jesus said while, while he was casting out demons, one commented and said he cast out demons uh, through Beelzebub. Jesus said, don't you know the kingdom that is divided cannot stand? So, so we must remember this principle and we must stand together no matter what, no matter how hard the enemy tries to uh, trick us or make us uh, fight with each other. But we're not any political party. We are the kingdom of God's. We, we are church of his kingdom. We must stick together, love each other. And the last point uh, is uh, we all have this mentality. If we, if we are too honest. Uh, at the very uh, beginning of uh, ministry uh, or, or if you start serving uh, in the Lord, we first need to get rid of this mentality. We have a me and mine mentality that what I'll gain from this, what what I'll have from this, which what part I'll play in this, how much uh, how much of a uh, platform I'll, I'll have, how much uh, I mean, I mean, what will people think of me? How will I look when I stand? Uh, I mean, not in the sense of uh, beauty. I mean, in the sense of how will, how, will, how will I be reflected in the heart of people? So we all want, because I like to share a testimony when uh, when I got a chance to interpret in conferences. Uh, in my first or two conference, when I, I, I would walk uh, between the aisles after finishing the work, I'll always think of this, what will people think of me? What will say of me? And when people used to come and uh, praise me for all those, I'll receive all the glory. Later on, I repented of that. So, so that's the point. We must get rid of me and my mentality. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Subhajit. Uh, good points there and uh, well substantiated with scripture as well as an explanation okay, um, as to what you're trying to communicate. So that was good. That was nice. Uh, and also, you also slightly overshot time, but uh, sort of well within the um, framework given to you. So thank you. Thank you for sharing on that subject. Uh, good work. Uh, well done. Uh, all right. So I think uh, Avni would also like to share. Avni, you want to share or is that uh, yes, a question? Oh, you want to yes. share? OK, sure, Avni. You can get started. And everyone, please feel free if you want to turn on your cameras. OK, so there's no limitation. Not prepared yeah. for the Go camera ahead, today. <laughs> Oh, Thank you okay, so okay, much. no problem. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, glory to God for this beautiful morning, and thank you, ma'am, for giving us this opportunity. Uh, I would like to take the same uh, question on partnership in the kingdom of God because uh, this is something that uh, really inspires me. And uh, to start with, I would like to talk about the very first chapter of uh, Genesis where we see that God said, uh, us, let us create. And that unity was reflected in the beauty of creation. And uh, Father, Son and God were one. They were interdependent. They were fully God. Yet there was so much unity in them. And that unity needs to be extended in the body of Christ because this is what God wants to see in each of us. Paul referring us as uh, co-workers in Christ gives us a great privilege to humble ourselves because you know, when, even when we are being uh, included in a small team in the church and when we are being used for the glory of God, we feel so blessed to be part of the church ministry, to be able to serve in the church. But here, when we see the bigger perspective, the eternal perspective of it, where God calls us as fellow workers and accomplished so much uh, in such a small duration of time on this earth and seeing his ministry being in inspired by his ministry and partnering with him as fellow workers with the body of Christ uh, is a beautiful opportunity and a privilege that I would like to thank God for as he's called us to do that. Then uh, uh, also we should remember that unity uh, is God's uh, plan for each of us. 
he loves unity and he wants each of us to work in that kingdom uh, perspective or kingdom mindedness where we uh, keep each other uh, first before us and when we do that uh, unity prevails uh, our personal agendas have to be kept behind our personal ministries our personal uh, thoughts and everything should be aligned to the word of god uh, one thing i have understood is when we align to the word of god and everyone is looking to god everyone is willing to obey god and be submitted to his word and will unity will prevail there is no way anyone can divide us only when uh, what the enemy does is he brings his our personal agendas and tries to make us feel that uh, uh, when we say this or when we put up this this would be a better way but uh, there is no better way than the way that god has designed for us so that is something that uh, we should achieve for because unity superficially is not the unity i mean i do everything with a face smiling but in my heart i am not united with the team then somewhere it will come up so unity in the body of christ means complete submission to the word of god and then we also uh, one verse that has always inspired me is when paul says i watered uh, i planted you know, apollos watered and god will make it to grow so uh, ultimately what god is doing all glory goes to the lord no matter i'm insignificantly working behind the scenes no one knows but in the partnership uh, the reward is all in heaven in eternity so if we are looking for a reward on earth then probably uh, we need to renew our mind refresh ourselves go back and know where lord i need to change and when we start doing that we will be a better um, catalyst in uh, spreading the kingdom of god and helping other people in a better way uh, being called as body of christ we see that even if one of our body part is not functioning well our whole body suffers and similarly we should make sure that all the body parts are working well and whatever has been given to us in terms of calling in terms of uh, assignments if we are working towards achieving a glory giving glory to god and achieving goals for a bigger purpose then probably all the joints being working well will give a beautiful result of a display of god's glory in that assignment or in that small or big uh, uh, work that we are doing in the kingdom of god so um, we, we we must always remember that we are following the example of father son and holy spirit and when we are following the example our mindset should be um, completely uh, aligned to them and being answerable and responsible uh, towards each other will help us uh, be more uh, submitted uh, to the body of christ because um, sometimes we we may do things in our own way but the others don't agree so we should be willing to be corrected willing to be uh, told by our leadership or our fellow Uh, brothers and sisters so that we can improve on it and maintain uh, that partnership in a beautiful way and as we are all growing we should value each other respect each other honor each other and make sure that uh, the name of the lord is exalted in every situation so thank you and god bless you uh thank you agni thank you for sharing the uh, insights that you've gathered from uh the subject on kingdom builders and particularly partnering in the kingdom of god uh so uh, yeah grateful to hear your views mm, we will uh, continue if there's anyone else who would like to share uh, there are about 5 more minutes for this first session uh we can accommodate another presentation um and maybe uh you know if you don't have uh presentations like if those of us who do not want to share mm, uh like if if we don't have takers then i don't think we will have the next session next one hour uh i would just let that go and uh, wrap up with this call so anyone who wants to present i think will be good if you tell me now so we can continue on this call and then wrap it up so the next one are you, others can take everyone can take to uh, uh, do the written part of the assignment anyone else who would like to present
Okay. Uh, seems like, uh, oh yeah. I yes. I wanted to ask, so those of us who are not able to present, mm. are we supposed to record and post it together with the other three questions or we should just write everything in writing form? Uh, so see, Abraham, the, uh, the, if we can present today, that would be ideal because I don't want to take everyone's time to connect, you know, on another call. Whether it is the next one hour or I mean, if we have no, presentations, yes, we, it's, yeah, it's submitted as homework. Mm. So, is it okay to record it and submit it as homework, and then write the rest, or we should just write everything? Okay, uh, I think it's better to just go with writing everything, Abraham. Okay, okay, mom. Yeah, otherwise it'll cause a little confusion if people submit their recordings after I grade it, then there'll be a lot of confusion. Okay. Thank yeah. You. So yes. Thank you, Pastor. Any blessing. Yeah. Yes. Blessing. Can I can I yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. You can. You can. My topic is on partnership. So um, I'd like to talk briefly about it for five minutes, just like you're giving us. Thank you very much for the opportunity to present. Um, actually, blessing, and I. I work in a ministry where I my major role is to do evangelism. So I belong to the evangelical ministry. So in my church here, so I would like to present on partnership and trusting God to for more insight even as I present. Yeah. So one key thing that I know about partnership is that just like the Bible has told us that a body that is divided cannot actually function together. So even as the, the Lord has told us in the, in the Bible, that in the book of Corpus, for instance, that um, He has given us a body with many parts. So this body has to function together for the complete body to 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 be physiologically normal. So even in the body of Christ, for us to function together, God has called us into different ministries with different gifts, different gifts of the Holy Spirit. So we need to like um, come together to be able to utilize this gift which he has given us effectively. So the book of First Corinthians also told us that um, just like my brothers and, and sisters that have shared have quoted this verse also that I planted, the Lord has planted Apollos watered and then both the Lord that gives the increase. So we must be able to understand this even as we want to venture into ministry. We must be able to understand that we must strengthen one another. We cannot do this based on our own accord. We have to ask the guidance of the Holy Spirit to help us, even as a partner, to help us to even identify those areas that we need to partner. The point is that a kingdom that is divided is weak and powerless. So the kingdom of God must not be divided. We must not allow the devil to, you know, to infuse mindsets in us that are not, are not really, really God. So we must not let anything undone. Whenever we realize any weakness, even in any of the ministers, we should be able to we should be able to work to fix that um, problem, and we should be able to work, identify it and create a solution. Or we can be the solution ourselves by strengthening him or her and, and not allowing him or her to fall. We are called to maintain unity even in our even in our in our ministries, unity in the spirit. So we should be able to do that. The book of Ephesians 4 verse 3 encourages us to endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. We must learn, learn to practice peace, even as we fellowship together, even as we communion together. So two of the important characteristics of, of the genuine work of the spirit, of true kingdom building work, are unity and fellowship. So even in our fellowship, we should also be united. Most times I see um, pastors, because I was opportunity to work in the ministry and I see pastors like if they, they're invited to another field field to come and preach or to come and deliver a message, they do not want to go because they start they start to suspect uh, what kind of spirit is there. Or some pastors don't don't even want to give their pulpit to other pastors to preach because they feel like okay, they might come to take over. We should learn to change our mindset and we should learn to do the change that we want. So what we don't want others to do unto us, we should not be able to do it unto others as well. As children of God, we must, we must, we must be, be united. We must be connected. We must also be kingdom minded. We should develop this kingdom mindset and not just a personal mindset. We should, we should want to suppress our own personal objective to allow our the kingdom objective to prevail. 
So in the book of First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, it also makes us to understand that now I plead with you, brethren, that by the name of Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and there be no divisions among you. He's talking about unity. So we must put the growth of God's kingdom ahead of our personal ministry advancement, just like I said. We should learn to put the collective goal ahead. We should suppress our own individual or our, our own personal ministry advancement. And we should work, try to strengthen the, the collective goal. So also, we must learn to connect to work with each other. Working with each other is very paramount because, we are, because our mission is that we are designed for partnership. So when we partnership, we see that we achieve more. We achieve more. We achieve more rather than just working by ourselves. Just like the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 6 has said, I don't know if I'm exceeding the time, but one last thing I would like to talk about is that we must be co-workers, just like just like Paul has taught us, has taught us this, and it's all just for true companionship. So in this, we must learn to always be able to, and willing and ready to work, willing and ready to work with one another, willing and ready to share the gospel, evangelize, um, willing and ready to for service. Service is the key to development in God's kingdom. Also, in the book of Acts, in several places, Paul himself has Paul himself has mentioned to all to fellow prisoners how he went about doing good. He was strengthening people. That is our mission on earth as children of God. We must learn to be co-workers. We must learn to be fellow helpers. We must learn to what be fellow laborers in the kingdom, helping to 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 strengthen and helping to build the kingdom in any way we are called to be. We have different gifts. We have different talents. Let's utilize it a bit effectively. Because if you don't put these gifts into classes, then it will be repressed. It will not be be pronounced. So we should be able to to work, have divine connections, pray with one another, be there to help each other, be there to strengthen each other, give advice, give suggestions on how to go as a church, how to go as a ministry, how to go as a family in the body of Christ. So just like the book of First Chronicles has only also made us to understand that all these are men of who can keep ranks, come to keep on and also a loyal heart. We should learn to be submissive to the will of the Father and learn, learn to repress our own personal objectives. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Blessing for um, you know presenting today and uh, sharing your thoughts about partnering in the kingdom of God. So, so far we've had six presentations and good ones. Uh, so uh, I'm really happy about that. And the most uh, encouraging part for me is that you all are applying it in your context. So uh, that's that's the whole intention of the course. All right. So uh, would anyone else like to present? Anyone else here you want to present? I think if you can let me know now, it will be helpful. Then I can decide whether we should have the next one hour call or not. You know, as they say, right, speak now or forever hold your peace. So, yeah, now's your time. Anyone who wants to present? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't seem like, uh, uh, you know, anyone else wants to present. Mm. All right, then. Then I, I, I guess uh, everyone else is going to send in written assignments. Uh, OK, good to write. All right, people prefer to write. You can write, and please uh, submit it in your regular way. You can write it in the Google document, which has been sent to all of all of you. And then uh, you know you hand it in. So there, there are those options on Google Classroom. Hand it in. Uh, well, uh, you know on or before the due date okay so let's wrap up now that means that we will not have the next one now uh, for our presentation uh, and uh, this subject you know king uh, kingdom of god we this is a wrap on that course so with you handing in the assignments we will be through and then you know i will um, uh, uh, 
send back the marks to all of you. So with that, we have completed this course. Uh, I'd just like to request somebody to please pray, uh, since this is our last call. So uh, if you could please pray, and then you know we close off the call as well as the course. Okay, who would like to pray? I'll go for I'll pray. Okay, sure, Mangi. Okay, let's pray. Okay, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for uh, this productive term, Lord, that we were able to to learn more than we could have imagined, Lord. We were able to equip, Lord, for your kingdom, Lord, so that whatever we do, Jesus, we'll, we will bear fruit, Lord, and we'll be tools, and we'll porch ourselves, Lord, to be the golden tools for the master's use. We thank you, Lord, for your providence, Lord, that we didn't, even from the start till now, Jesus, we didn't, we didn't lose even one of our students. Like, it's, it's amazing that everyone was able to, to join and to learn. But we, we are grateful and we, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. And as we come to, to the close of this time, we pray that you, you will be with us, Lord. And we, you'll protect us against this uh, through this time of festival season and until we meet again in, in January, Father. Be with us and be with Pastor Nancy also. In your much less name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mangi. And uh, all the best, everyone, for your assignments. Uh, those of you who haven't heard all the presentations, uh, this will also be, uh, you know, put up so you can watch the recording. Yeah. All right. God bless you. Bye for now. Thank okay. you. Bye, Thank my you. friend. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. My pleasure. Yeah. Bye, Mangi. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Abhishek. Subhajit. God bless. Bye. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Blessing. God bless.